Peter's journey through Germany continues, and this week he's heading north to the country's biggest island, Rügen. Like most tourists, he wants to see the island's famous white chalk cliffs. There are only four chalk cliff coastlines like this in the entire world. The 15-kilometre stretch is a real crowd puller, drawing 320,000 tourists every year. Long before the White Cliffs became a major tourist destination, 19th century artists like Caspar David Friedrich helped make them famous with romantic and somewhat kitschy paintings like this. The most famous spot is called the King's Chair. How high are the cliffs? I think uh, 110. I think about 300 meters. Uh, I think 50 meters, perhaps. Well, not quite. They're actually 188 meters high. You can enjoy the King's Chair from a viewing platform down on the beach or from a cutter out at sea. But this is not a good place for a climbing holiday. Try and you'll get a stern telling off from a National Park Ranger. Isn't it okay to climb here? No, no climbing here because it's dangerous. The, the track is very soft and in addition we are in a national park. The white cliffs of Rügen are constantly changing due to erosion. Pieces of the cliff often break off and plunge into the sea below. It's generally a good idea to keep well away from the edge. But tourists are supposed to keep to the paths anyway. These are maintained by a team of workers from the National Park and today they've agreed to let Vigor tag along for a while. Um, is it possible to get the work done in between the masses of tourists here? Yeah, sure, but sometimes it's very hard to build all the all the things here mm. and, uh, because sometimes we are more an info point like the workers here at the National Park. Ah. The manual labour soon starts taking its toll on Vigor's back. Yeah, maybe I should have taken the tourist boat. <laughs> do you go here with family and friends uh, privately? All well, two months, once or two times. Uh-huh. No. Three times. Three times a year? A year. Oh, wow. That's dedication. But now Vigor is ready to down tools for the day. <laughs> Why are you visiting the White Cliffs? This is the first time that we've been to Rügen, and I'm just fascinated by these white cliffs behind the blue sea. The contrasting colors, it's just beautiful. Well, the adventure factor is not so high because you're not allowed to climb the cliffs. They don't like it if you steal the planks from the pier either. So, only two stars for adventure. For relaxation, Germany's smallest national park has a lot to offer. Forest, beaches, wonderful landscape, five stars. And finally, the view. On a clear day, you can see the white cliffs 35 kilometers out of the sea. Four stars. Vigor has been revitalized by the fresh sea breeze, but now it's time to move on. The next destination awaits on Vigor's continuing journey through Germany.